At least 19,000 Ugandans considered to be at high risk of contracting HIV are set to benefit from the first batch of lenacopavir, a long-acting injectable drug approved for HIV prevention. On Monday, the National Drug Authority, NDA, cleared the drug for use in Uganda. Lenacopavir is manufactured by the American pharmaceutical company Gilead Sciences. The NDA spokesperson, Abiyaz Ruamwiri, says the approval followed a rigorous scientific and regulatory review process given the public health implications of introducing a new HIV prevention drug. We've said this product is good enough. It meets our requirements, our standards of safety, of quality, and of the efficacy. And that means it can now be allowed onto the Ugandan market. With the approval process now complete, the drug is available for procurement by government and other eligible entities, including individuals with the capacity to access it. You, whoever it is, will have to come back to National Drug Authority to get import authorization. Lena Kapava has gained international recognition for its high efficacy and safety following years of research dating back to 2021. Uganda is among the countries where clinical trials were conducted, led by Dr. Flavia Chiwewa, a senior HIV researcher. It can work so well, so effectively, so potent to prevent people from uh, who have been failing on all other regimens. How about giving it to people who don't have HIV? So it was changed to prevention and we had to test whether it will work for prevention through a trial called Purpose One. Purpose One was conducted here in Uganda and South Africa. We had three sites in Uganda. We are still ongoing. The study is still ongoing. So have... Lenacopava is administered as two injections given six months apart and is intended for individuals who are HIV negative. Dr. Chiwewa explains that the drug works by blocking HIV replication in the body, preventing infection. What Lenacapava does and how different it is, it works at multiple stages, such that if uh, it misses, I can give uh, an analogy of a thief coming into your home. If, uh, if, if, they miss at the, if you miss them at the gate and they enter the, the gate, you can catch them before they enter the front door. That is in a cup of other drugs we have failed. It uh, works over six months. It's in your body over six months. So we inject uh, at different parts of the body. So we can inject at the thigh, the abdomen, the buttocks, uh, the upper arm. So we are going to give people choices on where you want to be injected. So it goes, you, you put the needle below the skin, not in the muscle. Most of the drugs is put in the muscle, so it's really painful for many of the drugs. But here we are going below the skin, so it's less painful. And uh, then it will form like a depot from the small nodule. And then from that nodule, which may be visible or not, then the drug is going to move out slowly over a six-month period and go to the different parts of the body, including the part where people are having intercourse from. By the time you get uh, in touch with someone who is infected, you are protected. You have enough drug that virus just can't get in. When you get the injection, we need to give you some bridging, what we call um, loading dose. So we'll give uh, some oros tablet of lenacapava to cover you the first uh, two days and then uh, after that you can be uh, you can be covered so we advise people that uh, within two days use condoms and then thereafter you can you are covered but again with caution because you're, you're going to be protected from hiv you may not get hiv but there are other diseases that you can get if you don't use a condom for example hepatitis b and other stis you can still get them high risk populations including fishing communities sex workers and long-distance truck drivers are expected to take up the initial 36,000 doses as government awaits additional supplies from the global fund. The drug remains costly and unaffordable for many without donor support. So there are six generic manufacturers who are at it now. They are in the process of making sure that we get Lenacapava, the generic versions, maybe in the next few years. But before then, what Gilead did, because they realized that the incidence of HIV is very high, and uh, where studies have been conducted, especially in Africa, uh, we cannot afford. So they have uh, been able to subsidize the drug at a much, much lower cost. You can imagine from $28,000 to about $40 US dollars 
that is the cost of the Nakapava, not to the individual, but to the funder. So they've been able to uh, uh, sell this drug to Global Fund, and Global Fund has purchased the Nakapava for about 18 countries, and Uganda is among the countries that are benefiting from the Nakapava um, uh, first hand. So we'll be among the first countries to get loan in, in Uganda. A global fund has allocated 1.14 million US dollars to Uganda. Dr. Chiwewa cautions that Lenacapava is neither a vaccine nor a cure for HIV AIDS and must be taken as prescribed to achieve the intended protective effect. We don't have a cure yet. The ARVs help you to suppress viral load. But as soon as you stop taking the, the, the ARVs, there's viral rebound and then you're going to get the more aggressive form of HIV and you may even die. So the first batch of Lenacapava is expected to arrive in Uganda in March. Walter Mwesije, NTV.